Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. Who knew we would be talking about 50 Canuck wins? Yeah, no kidding. And his first year full-time uh, covering the Canucks, Ian Walker joining us uh, from the Vancouver Sun. How are you, man? Nice I'm to see well, you. I'm doing well, thank you. Boy, did you ever... Did just, you pick like, a good year to be well, on the I, I don't train. know it any differently, right? <laughs> like, the greatest year. It can only go down from here. Well, I, and I, the way they're playing, I, don't, I, I can't see it going down. You know what I mean? Yeah. They've got six games left. They've had some injuries, so I don't think they're going to be taking any nights off in terms of players. And, uh, yeah, I think, you know, I can feel the buzz outside, and it's really neat to be a part of it. You know, from the other side last year, watching and listening and seeing, you feel like you're a fan. Yeah. But now to be sort of part of it and there, is, it's yeah. really exciting. I'm very grateful. And as a Canuck fan, I mean, we all know there's been highs and there's been lows, but what yeah. a season. And 50 yeah. wins. It's just incredible. How good are these guys? I mean, in all honesty, in your opinion, I mean, because I keep hearing people kind of try and pick them apart a little bit and try and find that weakness. And it really is a struggle. So how good are these? You know, I think it's really going to be interesting in the first round, depending on who they play. You know, I think that'll really be Chicago, a test. Chicago, Nashville, Anaheim. possibly yeah, Anaheim. Yeah, you know, and these teams are all going to be playoff battle tested. They've had to play yeah. for their lives for the last two months. Yeah. You know, the Canucks, you know, last night wasn't the greatest game they've played. They yeah, ended up winning 4-1. They gave up 40 shots yeah, or something? Yeah, I mean, it was crazy. Corey Schneider stands on his head. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's hard to say how good they are yeah. because you haven't seen them tested other than that stretch when they won and lost games When for a you while. look at uh, the Western Conference specifically, but even the Eastern for that matter, the teams that are qualifying to get into the playoffs this year, there is not a bum among them. Like, they are all great teams. Well, yeah, and, and the, the West is the class of the NHL right now, you yeah. know, and, and I think... You know, you've got Calgary pressing. You've got Anaheim, who has doing it without their goaltender. Yeah. You know, Nashville, who's going to be tough. Like, Pekka Rene could be, you know, yeah. a, a Vesna candidate. Yeah. You know, this is, these are, you're right. You know, it's one of those things where until they get in the playoffs, you know, it's, it's the second season. You know, and I think everyone's <laughs> oh, waiting for that, yeah, yeah. you know? What is it? What are we, two weeks away now? Yeah, two yeah. weeks. Two weeks away, that's, that's crazy. And, and I don't know if you heard Theo Fleury on Friday. Oh, I sure did. So Theo, <laughs> really? <laughs> Trash talker. Now, what did he say? Well, Theo said that he no doesn't. Matter who. No matter who they play in the first round, they're they're going to be eliminated. And I happened yeah. to I got, I got a hold of him afterwards and said, Theo, I heard this on the radio. Do you stand by what you say? And he said, Yeah. And I was like, um, I hope you don't mind me asking this, but are you still sober? <laughs> and, uh, and he laughed. He goes, yeah. It sounds like a little bit of sour grapes, though, because, well, he, I mean, they're doing so well. Come on. Well, you know, I think Theo, one of the things Theo's very good at is self-promotion. Yeah. And God bless him for that. You yeah. know what I mean? He's had a, he, what he's done with his life is commendable, and, and, and I have all the respect yeah, in the world for him for that. Yeah. yeah. So, but he's also not afraid to yeah. know how to use the media to get Stir his name pot. in the book. Uh, or, but the NHL is also strewn with top teams losing oh, out in the first I mean, Three in the last five years. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's not like you're you're really going outside the box. And and when you look at the possible opponents, like mm -hmm. you know, it's a seven game series. You hope for the best, but you're a couple of bounces away from having a really bad turn of luck. You could look like a genius. <laughs> Don't say <laughs> that. Ever, and if you okay. guys are jinxing Let's them. Let's talk about a few things uh, because this year has been. I know uh, Fiona and I had the opportunity to interview Ryan Kessler, and not just interview him, but have a chance to hang out with him a little bit. And my perception of him completely he's changed. He's a really fun guy, and he's been showing yeah. it a lot this season. He's got um, a little bit of a viral thing happening on the internet with uh, the interview bomber. Yeah, Kess Lurking. <laughs> Kess Lurking. Kess yeah. Lurking. <laughs> yeah. And uh, some people are calling it. So, yeah, you, you, you know, I, I, like I said, I didn't really know Ryan before this year. Yeah. And I went in with, I'll admit it, a preconceived notion from what I've seen yeah. and what I've read. Fish, yeah, quiet guy. you know what I mean? you got to pick your spots with Ryan and, and things like that. And, you know, if, if you want something, chances are you're not really going to get a lot. And um, to my surprise, uh, I was on the trip in Calgary, and this is when he started doing those things on that five-game road trip. And he's just trip. basically sneaking up behind sneaking people when they're talking to the press. and doing things. Eating pizza. Eating pizza. Yeah. No shirt on seems to be a theme, too. Yeah. And, and yeah, the best was when he had the no shirt, he put his hand up, and he tried to take a drink and almost laughed at himself because he was being such a fool. But, yeah, I, I think, you know, it's really nice to see. I, I forgot. He's only 26 years old. Yeah. He's young you know, guy. and he's been here a while. Yeah. And it's nice to see, you know, grow up with him a little bit, you know, yeah. and him be comfortable enough within his own 
skin to show some of that? I think it has a lot to do with um, having such a winning year, too, because we're sure. seeing a lot more of the Canucks in the press, and we're seeing a lot more of their personality. And I think that's easier to do when you've got, uh, yeah. you know, positive things happening in the game. Well, and, and you know, I talked to Corey Schneider about this, and Corey said, you know what, there's a lot Speaking of these guys. Of funny guys. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of these guys in this room that who you see and who they are yeah. are completely different people. We gave it 110% yeah, and just got you know, out there and did what we had to do. But when they shut the door, you know what I mean? <laughs> they're, they're well, to me, this is a, a really positive sign for a team that feels yeah. really good about themselves and feels confident about themselves as well, that, that these guys are sort of, you know, you listen to an interview with Burroughs and Kessler together, and, you know, you can tell there's a really deep bond and friendship uh, and with keeping some of these it guys. loose. You know, we, we know how it is at work. You know, it gets stressful. you got to keep it loose. And to be able to let off steam and have someone who... Yeah you usually don't think of letting off steam. I think that shows a lot about yeah. that dressing room, like Fiona you said. Fiona actually, she tells me all the time, take off your shirt, eat pizza. <laughs> Gross. Take off your shirt, eat pizza. I, it's more it like put your clothes back on. Now we're going to talk about a couple of players. Ma Max Lapierre first. Yes. Tell uh, us a little bit about him. Yeah, Max and Chris came together in the trade, a trade deadline. You did a really think... nice article about these guys because you don't think about what happens. Well, when you... thank you for that because it, it's true, you know. And I, I sort of put myself in. Okay, say tomorrow I woke up and I got a work from the Montreal Gazette saying, hey, guess what? You're on our way here, <laughs> and we expect a story tonight <laughs> on, you know, Mike Camilleri. And say goodbye. To your life yeah, and get you know, out of there. like yeah, and you know, hopefully you get it remember to take the milk out of the fridge and whatever else. But yeah, these guys they come in and, and I think as fans, people expect them to just fit right in seamlessly. And they forget that they've got a life back where they were and, and you know they've got to fit in with a new team where they know none of these guys. A core of this group has played together for so long. Yeah. So yeah, I just tried to really put it in context. That, you know, mm -hmm. it takes a couple of weeks, and yeah. and we've seen that now. Well, you don't. I mean, just it's the little things that I've never really thought of. Like you know, obviously, I think most people think about you know fitting into the dressing room, new group of guys, but you don't have a car. Yeah. You have no idea where things are in the city. Living you don't know where to buy yeah. groups. Like, you just, the head starts to spin when well, you think about everything they have to do. Especially when a lot of the guys are married with kids, and you've got... 18 other hours of the day when you're not on the road to fill your time, you know? And, you know, like, you're a professional athlete, so you want to remain somewhat in shape and do things. Yeah. You don't want to just go eat anywhere. And, you know, so, yeah, it, it, I wandering. think... wandering. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I think you've seen that now with Higgins last night with his first two, two goals. goals yeah. And, you know, Max is doing well. And with what happened to Manny Maholcher, which, you know, I can't say enough about how my heart goes out to his family and himself. Yeah. Um, it's a really Manny scary was a, situation. yeah, Manny is just one of the classiest guys I've ever met in the game, um, and, and always took the time to talk to me about things that, you know, that, that he didn't have to give me that much time. So I, I really yeah. wish him the best. Um, but those trades have never looked better. You yeah, know, if no they, kidding, yeah. everyone was saying the Canucks yeah. don't have to do anything, and if yeah. they didn't, where would they be? Yeah, they're right. hooped right now. Always a pleasure to talk to you, man. Thank you very much. Hey. Of course, you can find Great. his writing in the Vancouver Sun. You can follow him on Twitter as well, Walker Big Talker. Sorry, Thanks. at Walker Big Talker. Thanks so much, Ian. Nice no to problem. see you. No problem. Thanks, Thank buddy. You. Appreciate we're going to take a quick break, and when we return, we're going to be.